An ashwagandha latte? No! Wow, not them sending skims. Oh, this, oh, this, baby. It's giving flimsy, it's giving lightweight, okay. It's giving vacation vibes, love it. So I was like, oh, that should be good because that's like double the amount that I previously had. It was not enough. <laughs> and when my alarm went off this morning, I went out um, to my car. The car was leaning to one side. Okay. Good morning and happy Monday. I'm getting ready to go to the eye doctor. I know I told y'all I had to go yesterday. My appointment is at nine. It's 8.42, so I'm getting ready to head out the door. And then we're gonna go out editing today. So this is my outfit. These shorts are from Sam's. I know I didn't show all the stuff from Sam's, but y'all are seeing one of the items because I'm wearing them today. And I just have on this like cream colored bodysuit, my New Balance, and this little crossbody bag. So super simple, really cute. These shorts are so freaking comfy that did not have the other colors in my size, but low key, I wanna see if I can order them online because they're so soft and just like, I told y'all, this, this is my summer uniform. Like, I just love it. I love it. I cleaned off my New Balance the best that I could. I don't have any suede cleaner because they got dirty when I had to get down to the ground. So um, I cleaned them off the best I could and I do have some um, scrapes on my knees as well. So now I'm gonna have to try to deal with that as well. But nonetheless, girl, let's go ahead and head out the door. I will talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, we made it to our next location. So eye doctor appointment is over. It's, a, it's exactly 10 o'clock. I am going to the same place I went last time, which is um, Baldwin and Co. to go edit. And y'all know the parking around here is shit. Like every time I come, it's just like, where am I gonna park? I feel like I'm really far away, but this is the only spot that is like available. I don't, I don't know that I want to stay here though. I feel like I'm one block. Am I, I think it's in the next block. So, I guess this is fine. I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing closer, so I'll probably just do this. Tell me why my mom and I were on the news. <laughs> After the um, the incident on Friday night, we were on the news. Um, they showed us walking out of the restaurant. My cousin um, sent it to my mom and was like, oh, y'all made the news. Girl, we would, we would. I still like that incident was just like so crazy and it's so crazy how you just have to like like resume regular life like that was you know I don't want to say like a totally traumatizing experience because I feel like I'm okay I feel like seeing the body really added really added to it you know but I'm just like you know it's like okay well that happened but you know moving on like just like okay well that happened but you know we have to move on <laughs> we have to move on we have to get back to regular life i wonder if the restaurant is open today or not because it's like okay well i mean it's still a business so like they need to they're gonna reopen like and resume regular schedule activities right like you know every i mean they're just gonna clean off the sidewalk clean clean up the inside and just you know keep it pushing we just get back to normalcy i mean it's kind of crazy when you when you think about it honestly can I do a, um, an ashwagandha latte? Me and the large. Um, me. Cold or cold? Cold. I feel like it's more crowded today, probably because the weather is super nice. But all the tables inside are taken, so I'm gonna sit outside again today. I need to wash my jacket because, hello, the drink that spilled on me. So basically I'm here to, I need to edit my hair video that's going up tomorrow. So if y'all are not subscribed to my main channel, be sure to do that at India Ajay. And I need to edit some reels and that'll be it. We might go get some sushi or some lunch or something after. So let's get started.
not the 555s parked right in front of us. Okay, we are back in the car. It's 216. So I think I think I got here at like 10. So my Mac lasts four hours, clearly. That's about how long it lasts. I think, yeah, I think I figured that out last time and said it was about four hours. They actually had a spot inside when I was getting ready to leave because I really just needed to charge my MacBook but I need to post my reel and I have to do a voiceover and I can't do a voiceover while I'm sitting in there so I think I'm literally about to do it right now in the car and then go ahead and post it and then continue on with my day I feel like I got a good amount done though like I always feel like I get like a good amount of stuff done when I go somewhere and do it you know so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this reel and then I think I'm gonna go to this medical physical, what? Go to this metaphysical store that is not too far from here. Actually the same one that we went to last time. I feel like the day is gonna end up being the same. I don't know if I want, um, I don't know if I still wanna get sushi or if I, like do I even wanna get food at all? Maybe I just go home, but, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and do this, do this real and then I'll be back. Okay, so I went in and went out. They literally did not have what I wanted, but since I'm in this parking lot, I'm about to take a picture. I brought my um, my tripod today, just because I wanna get something cute for my thumbnail, you know? I think I'm gonna go, I can't remember the name of the other one that I've been going to. I'm hoping that I have it saved in my um, Instagram saved things, you know, so we can go there and see. I'm looking for a specific herb. I don't know if it's like something that's hard to find or what, but we're gonna see. I'm not going all over. I'm gonna go to this other one and if they don't have it, then oh well. Maybe I can order it or something. We're back home. We are back home, okay. I'm thirsty, I'm hot, I started sweating, trying to get the packages. I told y'all I had ordered that Bath & Body Works stuff. I never went to go pick it up, so I went to go pick that up. I had an Amazon package. Is this also Amazon? Y'all know they break up, yeah, I think that's Amazon too. They break up the orders. I went to my mailbox. So I got a, um, a text last week about a package, right? Now I hadn't ordered anything, so I assumed it was PR. Went to go to my mailbox. What? <laughs> what is this? What is, what is this? This box is so I'm like, I have absolutely no idea what this is. The, there isn't a brand name on it. It's just the name of, I don't know, whoever packaged it or something. So I'm just like, we have to, we have to open this first because literally what in the world could this, could this be? Like, honestly. Heritage, Heritage by Mindy McKnight. I think I did say that I wanted some, um, wanted them to send me something. This is from, I mean, I think they did email me and I did approve PR from them. This is their label. Body, so this is insane. Oh, looks like, okay, looks like they sent me all of them. So we have, Peony and Cypress. We have Cedarwood and Neroli. Oh, my head. 
This one is mint and yuzu. And this last one is cherry and amber. So it does say, I think it said bath and body or hair and body or that it says heritage but bath and body so let's see this first one is cherry amber so when you open it up it's no wow not them sending skims what in a small y'all they sent a skims set the shirt and the shorts. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, and they sent body lotion in cherry amber and they sent creamy body wash in cherry amber. Let's smell this. Oh, this smells good. This smells good. Um, let me see premium stainless steel oh my gosh it's mint how freaking cute oh this is adorable app what please this is so freaking cute it's basically like a yeti cup you know and it's oh my gosh i love mint for summer and then it comes with the two straws oh my gosh I'm, that is so cute y'all know i stay bringing like a water with me or something when i go out so let me see because I want to, this is all going to be trash. I will definitely be using their products in some TikToks because that's so crazy. Okay, probiotic drink mix. I really want to sit on the floor, but I just, my shorts. This is a, why am I, why am I unboxing things in front of this door, you guys? Like, I have so much other space. Let's, let's move so I can actually sit on the floor because we have other stuff to open up too okay let's continue and also my nail came off did i tell y'all this my nail came off when i was trying to get the packages out so that's fantastic now i need to remove that so one box check box two is probiotic and superfoods drink mix this is cute 15 individual packs i'm down to try that healthy girl ish okay this is ooh sugar coated body scrub mint and yuzu and that one is that's it in this box let's smell it oh okay i actually love that it's sealed oh my gosh oh this smells like a spa it smells like a spa yep mm -hmm. i'm excited to try this Made with ginger root extract, sweet almond oil, and coconut oil. Infused with eucalyptus and peppermint. Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Okay. This one is the cedarwood and neroli. Oh, so cute. They have bath bombs. Love this. Ooh a candle lighter you guys know i love these i have an electric one uh lint gourmet truffles be for real be for real now i'm already in the process so i don't know if i've explained to you guys before but i suffer from migraines i don't like to say i suffer from migraines because i don't like to claim it because you, as I've gotten older, they have lessened and lessened, but I had like several food triggers. So right now I'm at this stage in my life. I'm in the process of starting to try some of the foods that have given me migraines in the past and see if they still give me migraines because I've avoided them for so long. One of the things being chocolate. So I am good with like, like I can eat a chocolate chip cookie and be fine. I can eat like one piece of chocolate like a Hershey kiss or like one or two Hershey kisses and be like good right now can I eat all of these because the thing is I will eat all of these I absolutely love chocolate there are five in here there's milk white and dark I love all chocolate all chocolate white milk dark I I love it all okay I'm a chocolate girl so I will be trying those out and we will just see what happens to my head um, and then they also oh, they also sent 
Ooh, a candle. This is super pretty. Cedarwood and neroli. And that's it in this box. Ooh, this smells great. Mm-hmm. smell a vision Absolutely. And this packaging is, the packaging is just super cute. Have you guys ever heard of this brand? I have not heard of them before they reached out to me. Didn't know who they are, but clearly they, I mean, clearly they send some phenomenal PR, okay? But on top of that, all the products that I have smelled smell amazing. I'm definitely gonna be trying them out. Oh, this is cute. If you're a headband girly. And this. A book, okay. The American Roommate Experiment, a novel. This might be just something fun to read. Y'all know I am heavily into like self-help books and like spiritual books and things. If I'm reading a book, that's what I'm reading. So this is something cute that's just like, you know, just like a regular book. So I might actually read this. <laughs> and there's two more things in this. So there is a Peony and Cypress body wash. And then there is a whipped body cream. Let's smell it. This probably has, yeah, it does. Okay. Seal. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This smells really good. It smells like, um, it's very fresh. Peony and Cypress very fresh smelling okay loving this wow okay shout out to heritage because i mean <laughs> they sent way more than products i mean books i've never gotten a book in pr i've never gotten chocolates let alone a skims set like be for real the only thing about this i don't actually own any skims this looks a little see-through it looks so <laughs> It's giving a little thin Kim it's giving a little thin like how much are they charging for these like she's just charging for her name because girl we're gonna see oh literally looking through this I can literally still see you guys <laughs> so we're gonna see I'm gonna try it on though because this um set is super cute super cute okay Wow, love this. That's so amazing. Shout out to them. So my battery is about to die. Let's change it. And we're back. So I went into the spiritual store. I showed you guys a little bit. I did end up getting the bracelet. So on Friday, when all of the fiasco happened, my bracelet um, got stuck and it like completely stretched out and I was going to restring it. Let me make. Yeah, this one fits good, too. Um, I was gonna restring it but it's tarnished as well like you guys can see this is like silver on here and all the little silver ones in between have turned like this brassy color you know like they've they've changed color because it's obviously not real silver and I was just gonna redo it but when I saw these in there I was like might as well just get a new one might as well get a new one and this one has a butterfly on it my other one has an elephant i actually really love the elephant so i might take this off with my jewelry pliers and put my elephant on it because the one that i have with my elephant on it, it the elephant part itself is not tarnished it's still good in silver so i just need to sage this and then i just got um some florida water and that was it so um what else do we have let's see amazon What did I order? I ordered like four things. I know for sure. Oh yes, that's what this is, my sunglass case. Okay, so the first thing in here is some beads. Um, I got some beads. These are super pretty. They are supposed to be like real crystals, right? Super pretty. I got them because I want to make some more waist beads. You guys know I love waist beads. I literally just had some on the other day, on Friday. I had on waist beads. But I want to make some new ones and I really wanted to do them with like some actual crystals and really get like the different shapes and stuff. So this is going to be super cute. I don't know when I'm going to make them, but one day for sure. Now that I have this and then, oh, I got another um, e.l.f. lip gloss. This is in the color Peach Bellini this color it's very much like pasty you know like it's like a pasty pink color it's super pretty like super pretty and it's their lip plumping one so you know it makes your lips like all tingly and stuff so i got another one of those because they haven't been 
having like any of the elf lip glosses at target like hello isn't this your brand like what what is going on oh this oh this baby it's giving flimsy it's giving lightweight okay so i have my sunglasses just kind of like sitting in a drawer with a bunch of other stuff and i've just really gotten tired of that and i'm just like no 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 like i want to i want to actually have my sunglasses in something so this is what i picked up everyone said that it um like everything fits even if they're oversized so of course we're gonna try it out and see but this is how it looks i think yeah it has like a like a light magnet in it um and then that's it so you just like sit it wherever i think you can is this i don't know this might be one of the ones where you can kind of like sit it up like i'm not really sure i plan to just keep mine closed and i might just end up putting it like in my closet or something but this one fits eight um pairs of sunglasses so we'll be trying this out shortly to make sure everything fits and then that was okay so sunglass case beads lip gloss okay this is my other thing which i don't even remember what the other thing was oh yes and i needed this as well revlon color state and the color dark brown this is my favorite eyebrow pencil okay only drugstore only eyebrow pencil i use really and this is a drugstore eyebrow pencil yeah i forgot to get this when we went to target on friday so that's great have that and now for the finale we have bath and body works so i had placed an order for candles online they had the same price they always are girl $13.95 and they had hand soaps i think five for 27 i am out of hand soap i had had like i feel like so many like my aunt had gave me some because she didn't like some of the scents so i ended up having like so many hand soaps and now i'm officially out so i got five i got turquoise waters fresh rainfall endless weekend eucalyptus mint and champagne toast which has a big love you mom on it so i guess this is their mother's day thing or whatever and luckily i have a cover what do we want to call it you know like the little covers that they sell i have one of those so we won't be actually looking at any of this packaging hopefully all of my candles are still intact i got mm, oops this you guys this is white lavender eucalyptus i should have gotten two of these this candle smells so good it smells so good like i just don't even i don't even understand how i don't even know how to explain it i don't even know how to explain it it is literally what it says lavender and eucalyptus it smells just absolutely amazing next This one is Warm Ocean Breeze. Okay, it's a little masculine. I'd never had this one before, but I wanted to try a new candle, so I did get this. I can definitely use it. If I were in store, I would have put it back just because it pulls a little masculine to me because of that sandalwood. Ocean Sandalwood, Warm Sage, Eucalyptus Zest, Coconut. Okay. I mean it smells good but like i said it pulls a little masculine so if you like that kind of scent then you will like it eucalyptus rain mm. love eucalyptus rain Mhm. Mm oh this smells so good turquoise waters and the last one is Oh, this is gorgeous packaging. Blue Bungalow. Hmm. I like it. That smells good too. This, um, baby, the packaging on this is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the little elephant on it. If y'all like um, animal documentaries, I just finished watching The Secrets of the Elephants on um, on Hulu. It's on Disney Plus too. Um, Natalie Portman is the narrator for it. It was four episodes, roughly like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour long each. It was really good. I enjoyed it. If you're, if you're someone who likes, um, you know, animal documentaries, like that's literally what it was. Um, it was really good. 
that's what I have been binging the last few days. So, okay. <laughs> those are all of the packages so we're officially done i'm gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff away and we are gonna try out the sunglass case and make sure everything actually fits in it because i do have a few pairs that are oversized Okay, so y'all can see that they all fit in here like this and then okay so yeah it closes but you can see this opening right here because these are more oversized which is what I was trying to see so but I'm still gonna keep it I didn't realize I even had this many pairs like I didn't think I was gonna fill up all eight spaces and I filled up all eight spaces now these are all of my sunglasses and I have one pair that I keep in my car but this is everything else so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and eventually well I don't know depending on like as I accumulate more sunglasses I may just get the plastic thing you know where you can just like either slide them in like this or like slide them in across and just like hang it on something y'all know what I'm talking about so for right now I'm just gonna take this and just sit it um, in my closet and then I'll have easy access to my shades I don't have a huge shades collection but yeah I think I don't know maybe like $20 or something I feel like it's a good buy so I'll put it in my Amazon storefront um, in case you guys want to get it Kim should really be like ashamed of herself for selling this like you can't be for real right now like you're not serious so I have on the set baby what look at this it's literally see-through like I know you can see this right here what then they're they're too big so I know if I were to order skims I would need an extra small because what am I going to do with that so this is the shirt so I feel like the shirt is nice quality I will wear this I will wear this shirt now I mean I can technically wear this set but I can only wear it inside like I would not go outside with this with this going on like I just wouldn't I just wouldn't you know and then they're big in the back so you know I would definitely want to I don't know to me like I just would not leave the house in this but I feel like it's a cute little, you know, Saturday chill at home kind of vibe. I don't know, girl. Who knows? Maybe I'll try to style this or something. I don't know. But this shirt, I feel like I could, like, this is a nice, just plain shirt that I feel like I could wear. Like, I could have worn this today, maybe. Or, like, wear this. I, I, look. I don't know how I would wear it, when I would wear it, where I would wear it too, but guess what? The chances of you seeing it when I do are highly likely. Okay, so we will see. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and take this off, get in the shower and get clean. And yeah, I just, I had to come home and pay my bills because I literally forgot. Like I, I was thinking, yeah, today is the first, but like it was not occurring to me like, oh, you have to pay your rent and like pay other stuff. So I just paid my bills and i wrote out my schedule for the rest of the week um well tuesday one tomorrow wednesday thursday and now i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower probably have a little glass of wine and then i'm making tacos for dinner so i may or may not pick you guys back up for that <laughs> Good morning! Happy 
Wednesday. Wednesday, not Tuesday, Wednesday. <coughs> Happy Wednesday. Um, I didn't talk to y'all yesterday. That's why I was like, wait, what? But yeah, today is Wednesday. It is 9.27 in the morning. I am taking my cup with me today. I washed it so it's all nice and clean. And I literally don't really need to bring water with me. I'm just bringing it just because the cup is so cute that I'm like, oh, I'll bring this. I normally do try to bring water when I leave the house. Like even if I just grab like a bottle of water because I never know when I'm gonna be thirsty, you know. But anyways, we really don't have too much to do. I am getting ready to go to get gas. I need to get gas because, oh, I need to glue. I need to glue my nails on before I leave. Hello, hello. So many of them have come off, but I have to film. I'm thinking I'm gonna film content tomorrow, so I don't wanna take off the rest. So let me get the glue. Okay, so we don't have too much to do today, but I am gonna go to the bank first. Um, and then I need to go get gas because I, I have like pretty much no gas in my car. And I'm, um, I'm working, I have two shifts, Friday and Saturday at the pharmacy. So obviously I need gas in my car to be able to get there. So I'm gonna do that. And, oh, and then I need to go to, oh, I need to go to, um, go to T-Mobile because the storage space on my phone gone gone like i got a one is it one 128 i think it's 128 and then the next one up is the 256 i got a 128 because previously i had had a 64 which is like the standard well used to be the standard then when they made the 13 they no longer make 64s the smallest amount is the 128 so i was like oh that should be good because that's like double the amount that i previously had it was not enough. <laughs> it was not enough. So storage space is full. Last week I was going through trying to delete like videos and pictures and stuff. Y'all know just as a content creator always making stuff. You have a lot of pictures. You have a lot of videos. And it's like you don't know what you want to get rid of what you don't. So I went through and got rid of like what I could. I can go through again and see if I can do another sweep um, of stuff. But yeah, it's just. So I'm gonna go and see. I don't know if I'm eligible for an upgrade. I don't know when the new iPhone is coming out. I think the 14 is out right now, right? So that means a 15 should be coming out this year, I guess. So it's like, when does that come out? Maybe I need to just hold off and get the 15 because I'm, this is a 13. I'm pretty positive this is a 13. So yeah, I wanna see about that if I'm eligible for an upgrade and all that kind of stuff and when the new phone is coming out. So I'm gonna go to T-Mobile and do that. And then I also need to go to the grocery store because I need to get some lunches because I'm taking shifts at the pharmacy Friday and Saturday. So I don't need lunch for, um, I don't need lunch for Saturday, but I need something for Friday. So I'm going to do that. And then that is the plan. And then come back home and continue on like editing and stuff, wrapping up like my editing for the week, basically like drafting the rest of my reels, my TikToks, all the kind of stuff that I'm posting the rest of this week so that is the plan and then tomorrow we're supposed to be doing content filming two videos and then um yeah and then just kind of like finishing up early because like i said i'm going to the pharmacy on friday and i'm going on saturday so yeah that is what's going on that's the latest and the greatest you guys these the flowers be for real what what? I mean, they still look just so good to me. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. Y'all know I went to, um, I think I had gone like the day I was getting stuff from my fast. I had gone to like main squeeze and stuff. And then I went to go get flowers from my bath, which I only used like three of the roses. I wasn't going to use the whole bouquet. Two weeks later, literally today is Wednesday. So this is exactly two weeks. Look at the roses, like be for real. They look so, they look so good. I can't believe like how they're still like thriving. I mean, they've definitely faded in color, but they still look really good. So anyways, I'm done filing, about to go ahead and glue these nails on and then we're gonna go. Okay, back in the car. We just left out of T-Mobile. Well, y'all didn't come with me, so I guess it's not really we. I guess it's more I just left out of T-Mobile. So I can get an upgrade. It, they said it's going to be $60 extra a month on the like monthly bill. 
and then I just have to pay the taxes on the phone the day I get it which is like $130 so all of that's fine I'm just trying to think about she said the, um, the 15 comes out in like September or October we're in May so basically that's like the end of the year so like May June July August September that's like roughly another six months before the new phone at this point in time let me see oh oh my gosh if <gasps> I don't have to get a new phone I should have checked this before I went it's fine okay so you know like when you're deleting stuff off of your phone it doesn't like update immediately so like I all those pictures and videos I deleted every time I will come back to my storage it will be like you have 126 out of 128 remaining on your phone which is like two gigabytes and now finally it's a week later since I was deleting all that stuff and finally it says 51 gigabytes out of 128 so y'all can see right there so it's like I have all this space so I actually did not even need to come here this was a waste of time but that's fine um at least I'll know for the future um what it'll be so I'll I'm gonna wait and get a new phone when the, I'm probably get the 15 when the 15 comes out just to have an upgrade honestly because content creator hello so we always want the best quality so I'll probably get that and then also when I get it I'm gonna get the 256 for sure and I'm gonna get the max because I have the regular one and this 13 is actually their new regular size phone this 13 is actually smaller than like the regular 12 so i'm definitely probably going to get the max just because i'm always on my phone so it's like you know the bigger the screen the less you have to strain your eyes and stuff so that's great i wish i would have checked my phone before i came over here but at least i have the information for the next time and i know what i'm doing because they don't keep the 256 in the store they're going to have to order it so okay that's great so it didn't need to do that but I did it so now it's done um so let's I really kind of do want to go to Marshall's mm, this is really not a day out <laughs> this is really not a day out I'm really just running errands but I low-key just want to go in there and just kind of see yeah this is not really a day out but I kind of just want to go to Marshall's real quick and just see what they have y'all know I have um well you may or may not remember that Marshall's has sent me a gift card after I had tagged them in a reel I had posted on Instagram they sent me like a hundred dollar gift card to shop in their store and last time I went I only spent maybe like forty dollars maybe 45 ish so I have roughly about like fifty dollars left to be able to spend in the store and it was um, winter last time I went so now it's like summer so they could have some cute new things and Lily has been talking about like these new um, well not like recently recently but she mentioned a few vlogs ago about these new um, these perfumes that they have and I really want to try them and see if they have them at this store so we're not too far from Marshall so let's go ahead and do that and then after we do that we'll go to the bank we'll go get gas and then we'll go to the grocery store to get some items are these giving grandma or are these kind of cute what size I need and I'm really not trying to show y'all my clothes because they're not done but I just feel like these are cute y'all know I wear 10 but sometimes the 11 looks way too big though it's the fact that the mirror is being blocked by these crocs okay I think I'm gonna get both of these I just feel like they're super cute so the first pair with a little gold on the side. And then this pair, which is just like a different kind of brown. These are just so simple, like, I feel like you cannot go wrong with these. They always have, oh, these are kind of cute. I feel like they have a, like a pretty cute selection of nails, but they don't have a lot of shorties. You know, I always wear these little short square ones, but these are kind of cute. These are the perfumes. I don't see what Lily was talking about. 
when I went to a different Marshalls, like when she had first talked about them, they were um, they were in a glass case. When she went to her Marshalls, they were just out and about, but I don't know, I don't see them, so. How cute is this? It's giving vacation vibes, love it. Okay, we're in the fitting room. So I have this pair of like linen pants in black and then a plain white bodysuit. These little shorts, it's a set white and gray. And then this orange dress in addition to the shoes that I already picked up. So let's, let's get started. Okay, these are the pants. They're, I don't know, they're okay. I guess the length is fine. I just, I don't know. I low-key wish they were a little longer because I really like to wear my stuff as high-waisted as possible. And if I do, then they're not long enough. See? Mm. Okay, this is the dress. I'm not gonna get it. I feel like it's just not very flattering. Like, especially this back. I love the opening, but I wish it was like a little lower because the way this fabric sits here is a no man. And I also don't like the slip underneath because I don't know if y'all can see, but it, there, you can see right there. It stops right here. And I hate that. It stops right there because it has a slit in the back. So. Mm. I didn't show y'all my outfit before I left. Not really the outfit, but the shorts. Aren't the shorts so cute? They're little Adidas shorts. I got them from Sam's. <laughs> I got them from Sam's. They were in the three, the three items that I got from Sam's. You already saw the tan shorts. These. And then I have one more thing. So y'all have basically seen everything at this point because I've worn it. But I think these are so cute. Okay, we're done with the bank. We're done with gas. I'm getting ready to go into Felipe's, which is this little Mexican place, and get some queso. So y'all know I've been eating um, tacos, right? We made, I know I did a little mini montage of my tacos. So I ate that. That was Monday, right? Monday and Tuesday, and now today is Wednesday. So I'm going to... Since I have to go to the grocery store, I'm just like, oh, I can have, um, I can get chips and stuff and avocado and make, you know, a little mini guacamole and get some jalapenos and stuff and make nachos for dinner. So that's what we're doing. I'm not going to make the queso because it's literally just for today. So I'm just going to get a small one from here. The same thing I did last time. I know I showed y'all my nachos last time. you do the selfie with this way, I guess. Well, I'm recording, uh, but I mean, yeah. I can yeah. see that. So, we're good, buddy. Oh, at the bottom. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, chips and queso secure. So this is actually great because now I don't have to buy chips because the queso came with chips, so perfect for today. Ground turkey is already done, so I just need a few things to get my lunches and then we are back home to finish editing these reels.
It's 7.23 in the morning <laughs> on Saturday, right? Not even eight o'clock. I am sitting outside of the tire shop because I have a flat. So yesterday when I was leaving the pharmacy, I'm trying, y'all, I'm recording this on my, um, my phone. I'm like, should I be looking at myself or should I be looking at the camera? I don't know. But either way, I, um... So I went to the pharmacy yesterday. I told you guys I was taking two shifts Friday and Saturday, right? So yesterday when I got out, so my tire pressure light has been on for like a while, like several weeks, maybe even like a few months, but my tire pressure light always comes on. This has been like a running thing with this car. Like the tire pressure light always comes on. And every time I go to the place for them to like fill up the tires, they're like, oh, you're only down like five, you know, like if it's supposed to be 38, it's at like 33. You know, so it's like, it's literally never anything. So I really wasn't thinking much of it. I was just like, I'll go get air in my tires one day, right? So um, yesterday when I came out of the pharmacy, my tire, I came out and I was like, oh my God, I have a flat because it looked so low, right? But it really wasn't, it wasn't that low. And so um, the person who works with me, she was like, she knows how to put air in tires. So she would come with me to the gas station. So we went to the gas station, which is like across the street. And um, she helped me to like fill it up. And we were trying to fill it up and like nothing was happening. So I was like, okay. And then it started raining. Like it started sprinkling. So I was like, okay, you go home. Like, let me go deal with this. So there was a um, a fire stone, like not too far. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go here. So I went there. They close at seven, right? I don't get off until six. So at this point, it's like, 6 30 something so he was like okay we can look at it real quick for you right so he looks at it and he's just like okay yeah um hold on my hand is hurting um so he's just like okay we'll look at it for you whatever so he fills up all four tires and the light goes off the tire pressure light goes off so I'm like okay yeah so the tires were just low like no big deal or whatever right so I um I get home right I get home and I'm just like okay I'm just gonna look up somewhere to go tonight and just to see like because I have to open the pharmacy at nine right so I'm just like I'm gonna need to see if something opens around like seven so I found a place that opens at seven I was like okay so I see that they have this it's not too far so when I my, when my alarm went off this morning I was like I'm just gonna walk um I'm, let me just go look at my car and just see how the tire looks because if it's still filled up from yesterday oh because when i was driving home last night the light came on again so i told y'all after he filled up all four tires the light went off and when i was driving home after i had been driving maybe like 10 minutes or something the light came back on so that's why i was like let me look up a place for in the morning and then when my alarm went off this morning i went out um to my car the car was leaning to one side <laughs> The car was leaning to one side, so I was like, okay. I walked around to the other side. I was like, I have a flat tire. All right. Luckily, the place is not too far from me because I'm like, what am I gonna do, right? Like, what, what will, what will I be doing? Like, I'm not gonna call a tow truck for a place that is like not that far away. I'll just drive slow. Like, I didn't have to get on the interstate or anything like that. So, I'm driving slow, right? I get here. I got here. I was trying to be the first person here. They open at seven. Well, it. It says on Google that the business updated their hours five days ago and their hours are seven to seven. When you look in maps to get the directions, it says they don't open until eight. But I'm like, okay, if they updated it five days ago, then it has to be right. So I get here at maybe like 6.50. Nobody's here. Everything, all the lights are off. Everything is closed. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait till maybe like 7.15, right? But I find another place that is about five minutes from here. And I'm like, okay, I like 7.15. If they have not come, I'm going to leave and go to this other place. So luckily at around like 710, um, well at like, yeah, at around like 710, somebody pulls up, but they don't go inside. And then at like 713, somebody swings into the driveway and it's like, oh my gosh, they're running late or whatever. So anyway, they're working on my car now. It is 728. Like I said, I have to be at the pharmacy for nine. So I don't know. I think he's just going to patch it up and I'm trying to figure out like what exactly is going on with it because it's the same side of my car that was swiped right so if y'all have been keeping up with the vlogs y'all saw we went to french quarter fest and after we went to french quarter fest we went out to eat when we went out to eat somebody swiped the side of my car so the tire that has the problem is on that same side because i'm like the tire pressure light 
has been on for like a while and the tires just get gradually low they don't just like get a flat you know so i'm thinking that i'm thinking that they they did something to the tire as well car okay okay i'm going inside to pay i'll be back i will never get over the fact that I am responsible for these things. Like, it, it's so crazy to me. Like, being an adult is like the weirdest thing because I feel like you never get used to the fact that, you never get used to adulting. Like, when things like this happen, like yesterday I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot be stranded here at the pharmacy. Like, what? <laughs> then you're trying to think of like how to fix it. I don't have AAA, but like, I will be getting it eventually um, because you just never know, you know, when things like that happen. And thankfully, you know, it worked out. Thankfully, it worked out. And like, you know, like I said, the person I was working with knew how to put air in tires, even though I feel like we didn't do that great of a job. <laughs> that still helps. And then, of course, um, being able to just go to a place not far and have them, you know, put air and being able to make it home safely, like, all of that worked out great so happy i was not stranded and then um you know i drove on the flat tire this morning thankfully like i said i didn't have to go that far so like everything worked out and i'm so happy that you know it's done and they were able to just patch it up that's why i'm saying that i think um the way he showed the tire he was like it's sliced like right here and slight like it's not like a like a hole punch, like you ran over a nail or something like that. It's like, it's like, like I said, sliced, which makes me think that it happened when, um, when they swiped the side of my car. I think the tire pressure had been low, but like I said, it was like no big deal. But when they swiped the side of my car and made that like indention or whatever, I think that's what, that's what took it there. So, because it's only been, I mean, it's maybe been like two weeks, but y'all have to realize I don't go a lot of places. <laughs> I mean, I've gone some places, but I don't leave my house every day, you know? So yeah, I mean, we'll honestly, we'll never know the truth. <laughs> we'll never know the truth, but that's just my speculation. But I am back home. I am making a little quick breakfast. Normally I don't eat breakfast before I go to the pharmacy. I bring, I just bring tea with me and then I normally bring like oatmeal um, for breakfast, but I don't want oatmeal today. And since I have time, I'm just like, let me just go ahead and make myself, oh, let me do my bread first while I'm playing with these eggs. I'm just gonna have, this is like a little mini French bread pistolet, so I must put some butter on this, put this, wrap it in foil, put it in the oven, and I'm just gonna do egg and cheese. I don't want any, um, I don't want any meat, like, I don't want any turkey bacon. That would be like my only option. So yes, that's what's going on this morning. Okay, extremely eventful, and yeah, that's, that's tea for right now. So yeah, I really don't have anything else today. I did go to my mailbox and get um, some packages, which is just some stuff I ordered from Amazon. So I'll probably show y'all that later, which I'm trying to think like, what exactly did I even get besides these light bulbs? Because one of the light bulbs in my bathroom blew out. So I need to fix, fix that. But yeah, we'll probably do that when I get back because I don't have too, too much time before I have to leave and obviously like I said, I'm making myself breakfast and then I have to eat it, of course. So talk to you guys later. Also, it's Mercury retrograde. So um, when the side of my car was swiped, we were in the pre-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. And then when the tire thing happened, Mercury retrograde, when the shooting happened two weeks ago, if y'all watched the last vlog, y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for all the um, well wishes um, and the likes on the vlog. So yeah girl all of all of this has happened during mercury retrograde and we have a full moon <laughs> we have a full moon yesterday um today you know the energy three days before three days after it is a lunar eclipse in scorpio scorpio is my moon sign so we can see all the things are happening as they are aligning with the stars per usual i'm back home and i'm eating a snack I had, y'all saw, I had my breakfast sandwich this morning, but I decided for my snack today, I was just gonna have yogurt, this Chivani Greek yogurt with um, honey on top, but I wouldn't just want, I literally just, 
started the vlog just so I can show you guys these. If y'all have never had these before, these are so good. Please ignore my nail. I just took it off. Um, this is um, Trader Joe's Just the Clusters Vanilla Almond Granola. So they have this, um, which comes in a cereal, but they also have the part where it's just the clusters. So it's li literally just the granola with the almonds in it. This is so good. This is so good. If you have never had this before, put this on your list for Trader Joe's next time you go. Also, put on your list the orange chicken. I know everybody talks about the orange chicken. I only just tried it maybe like two, three weeks ago. Like last time I went to Trader Joe's, I'm pretty sure I showed y'all I got the orange chicken. So good, so good. So if you have been putting off trying it, I promise you add that one to your list. It is 3.13 and I'm at home. I have no plans for the rest of the day. I don't know if y'all can hear, but it's raining outside. It was thundering just a second ago. So that's that's what's going on today. We're basically doing nothing. Um, when I got in, I just quickly washed up all those dishes that I had in the sink because I didn't wash any dishes yesterday because I was at the pharmacy. So yeah, I'm watching Chelsea Janae. Y'all know my fave. And watching on my laptop, I think I told y'all that my TV went out. I was gonna, I unplugged it. So it's been unplugged for probably like two weeks at this point. So I was gonna try to plug it back in again and just just see what it gives. I'm gonna try to plug it back in and just like see what it gives if it just magically starts working again. But but otherwise, yeah, nothing else for today. I am gonna watch um, Power because, baby, if you wanna watch a show, make sure you don't get on Facebook because somebody is gonna always ruin it. Anytime I think I see something that might even a little bit resemble Power, I be scrolling so fast because I like, I don't, I don't wanna know anything. I don't wanna know anything. It is literally one of my pet peeves for people to ruin shows for me. So I will be watching the most current episode today and yeah, probably some other stuff like some Netflix or something and that's it. I literally just wanted to come in because I wanted to show y'all these almond clusters and ta-ta for now. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's 1 p.m., 12.59. I am just getting up. I, I didn't go to sleep like super late, maybe like 10.30ish, but I decided to take two melatonins because I just felt like I was like tired, but I wanted to really try to sleep through the night. And I ended up waking up during the night like twice, but I wasn't up for like a super long time, you know, so I feel like the melatonin works, but this is my, the only, what? This is only my second time taking the melatonin and I am, I've decided I'm a slow metabolizer. Like the stuff, it stays in my body. Like I'm still tired, honestly, at one o'clock. Cause I could really, you know, lay around a bit more, but I'm just trying to get up and get going. I'm sorting laundry right now because I need to do that. And then my mom just called me and let me know that some of my um, stepdad's family, they're gonna be in town and they're gonna be coming to our house tomorrow for dinner. So my mom and I were trying to figure out um, a menu and stuff. So that means that I have to be done my work tomorrow like early. Like I probably need to be done around like one-ish and then have enough, like an hour to just like take a shower, throw on some clothes and then be at my parents' house for like two o'clock because I'll be making the dessert and then, you know, just helping my mom with anything related to the meal because they're probably going to be coming around like five. But tomorrow's Monday, girls. So my mom has like a regular day at work, stuff like that. She'll probably get off early and then you know whatever but anyway that's what's going on so i was like let me go ahead and because you know of course i wanted to put off the laundry but i'm like let me just let me just do it let me just get started i can at least i can at least do that i can at least sort the laundry and start doing that plus i'm like i think i have like one clean towel left so i definitely need to wash clothes so that's what's going on right now also last night i watched um well I didn't finish it. I started watching Queen Charlotte. I feel like my hair. <sighs> okay, I started watching Queen Charlotte. Very good, I'm halfway done. So it's only six episodes. So I thought I, what? I finished three of them. Really good. I didn't watch Bridgerton. I watched only maybe two, maybe three. Three I feel like is pushing it. So maybe like two episodes of Bridgerton. And I really was not a huge fan and I stopped watching it. <laughs> but when they um, sent the, or when they started advertising Queen Charlotte, I was like, okay, this looks like it might be kind of good. And so far it is good. So I would definitely be finishing that and seeing how that goes. I don't know if it's like a limited series and it's six episodes and then it's done 
or if like this is season one and it'll continue on not sure but we'll see and i'll probably be able to tell based on the way that it ends so that's what's going on girl the plan for today start this laundry i'm hungry actually do i have syrup i do i have syrup I couldn't remember if I had bought another one when I went to the grocery store or not, but I do have Sarah, so I actually think I'm going to make a pancake, <laughs> and then I'll be having leftovers for dinner. I made some yellow rice and corn last night, and I had flounder, and I just put, like, um, I don't know, like, chili powder, paprika, and, like, cayenne, and then Tony's got garlic powder, onion powder. It was really good. I think tonight I'm going to have, season it the same way, but I'm going to have halibut, and then my rice and corn, just like a very simple meal and then I don't need food for tomorrow so that's great so loving this that's what's going on also I need to clean my bathroom a quick a quick little run through a quick little run through of the bathroom and then I'll be done and then plan out my schedule for the week I'm literally just talking out loud about what what I need to do because Tuesday we have swimming lessons I don't know when I'm gonna end this vlog I might end it tomorrow night or I might end it today and start a new one tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't lined the footage up yet, so I actually don't know how long the vlog is um, since I cut that last vlog. That last vlog was a daily vlog, basically, because after all that happened with the everything that happened in the last vlog, girl, and then I told y'all a little story time after about what went on. So if you guys have not seen that vlog, definitely be sure to go check that one out so you can be caught up. But that's all that's going on now sorting this laundry i also feel like it is a little hard to sort laundry and talk which is odd but i don't know i i'm just trying to think where everything goes like i don't know do you guys i don't know everybody i feel like does not sort laundry some people i feel like just take the stuff and just put it in there any kind of way i don't know but i still make piles so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll probably come back in a minute maybe we'll do a little mini cleaning montage i don't know girl but let me let me finish doing this be back also robe is available at ajayofficial.com i feel like i don't say it in every vlog i try to put it on the screen but i do have a loungewear store you guys um so definitely be sure to shop it's like robes pjs and stuff you can get this one on there it also comes in white and gray this is my favorite little around the house robe because it's just it's just so fluffy and warm and I love it. So I will put um, the name across the screen, linked in the description box down below as well. The washing machine is already on, so I'm sorry for the sound, but let's go ahead and open these Amazon packages because what exactly is this? Okay, so this is something for my mom. I'm making my mom, um, this is something for her for Mother's Day. And then handy wipes. What is this? Oh, this is, oh yeah, I don't need to show any of this because like two things for my mom, handy wipes, light bulb, girl. There was nothing to show. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm down by it In your heart you keep trying The truth is not hiding That's just the way we are But can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new it won't be like that To everybody else it would just show me back but I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away Yeah, we could just stay away The things I love about you are Chase, no, 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 no
so be bad But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we can go